All right, time to chug further down this river on episode 22. Oh, man, no. On my solo Let's Plays, I can't do that. Oh, man, I thought I would spice things up a little bit and give it a little bit of excitement in the beginning, but it just doesn't fit for this game. But anyway, this is episode 22 of Danny from Tiger Snake Works Let's Play of Dead Island for the Xbox 360. And for this episode, we got, well, since we're on the boat, I actually don't know what we're going to do next. I think we're going to, I'm assuming we're taking the boat down to see Moen, but once we see Moen, I don't know what we're doing from there. So I guess we're just going to find out. Okay, so this is very easy. I like this. I like a very easy quest. It's only a thousand XP, but it's still very easy. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're at Moen's camp. Okay, so I just gotta go find Moen, and they're gonna wait there for me. Apparently I have to just get Moen, grab him, and get him to come back to the boat. This is a really, like, small area. It's just a swamp with bamboo sticks and large trees, and I don't even know. Whoa. Got quite a fire going there, don't you, Moen? There he is. <laughs> Moen's cool, man. Oh, another shotgun. I can't use shotguns. Okay, so, there's nothing really in here, but I have to talk to Moen. Nowadays, you can't trust nobody. Maputero said you're okay, and that's one but I trust. The bra from the radio has it wrong, okay. I don't know no way to any prison. Can't help you with that. But I do know where the walking dead come from. And if you want, I can take you there. Deep in a jungle. A place where they do ugly experiments with God's creatures. This is where the corpses come from. This I know. You want to go? Oh dear. That was only medium difficulty. I have to go to a laboratory. Yes. Okay then. Let's go. So we're following Moen as he runs to the boat and then we're going to head to a laboratory where everybody at least Moen believes that these zombies have all come from I believe it is the same laboratory that that guy wants us wants to use our blood to make immunity shots or whatever they plan to do for the zombies so, back on the boat, we are 73% done with the story, almost three quarters, now we're going to go to the laboratory. So this chapter is called The Scientific Method. Obviously, you guys can figure out why that is. It has nothing to do with the actual scientific method. It's just the scientific method because it's a laboratory. And it's science. Jin is kind of getting depressed. Okay. So, I just gotta head to the laboratory. The fast travel map here. 
And I assume there will be lots of zombies here. But we've never been in this foggy, dark, creepy jungle area. Why is my stamina so... taking forever to... come back? Okay, twin zombie down. And there goes the head of another. Ooh. Okay, so it wants me to go that way, but I have to follow the path. I'm not going off any strange direction. Well, these are like poison zombies. I don't like these guys. And he hit me backwards. I'm like on the edge of death. And there's a floater. I'm trying to avoid the floater spit and fight this zombie at the same time. Okay, now onto the floater. As soon as my stamina recharges. I thought I heard another zombie. Okay, let's see if I can do this without dying. And apparently he whacked me with his giant stomach and killed me. The only explanation I really have, because he didn't really spit on me. But I've decided, guys, that I'm going to turn my inventory into all sharp weapons. Every time I see a sharp weapon now, I'll replace it with one of my blunt ones. Because... Overall, sharp weapons for me do more damage since I'm a sharp weapons expert. And I like sharp weapons better <laughs> than these blunt weapons that actually don't wind up doing as much to them as my sharp weapons do. If you aim sharp weapons right, right at the neck or the head, it'll kill them in one hit. And that's a lot more handy than this thing. Don't get me wrong, this crowbar is really good. It's not my style. This is medium difficulty? In what world is this medium difficulty? Okay guys, I've decided that I'm just going to show you when I get to the laboratory, because I'm not even doing good against any zombies. See you then. Okay guys, this is the laboratory, and of course there's zombies. See, and that is why I like sharp weapons. But anyway, we are now at the laboratory, which is a big place and I think kind of infested with zombies. Okay, so like I said, this is the laboratory. And also, I'm deciding to stick with sharp weapons. But, this is a very annoying part of the story. You know how we did all those side quests? Well, it kind of feels like that. That's what it feels like when you're playing this.
Although, the good thing is, every zombie I've seen in here so far is easy. Okay, so... I'm gonna take my time out here. Because he wants me to get in quick, and I'm doing all the dirty work killing the zombies, so... Yeah, I'm gonna take my time. Alright, there's nothing left out here. I'll go in. Okay. I make sure to close every door behind me just in case zombies do start to come in at some point. They never really do, but I do it anyway. Never take for granted the money you get here. I mean, a hundred dollars? That's a lot. Okay, so... We gotta go meet up with these scientist guys. Let's take a look. There they are. So what? It's the apocalypse, man. It doesn't matter if you're trained to do it. We weren't trained to do it, but we take on the zombies anyway. So you are all immune. I'm sure you're wondering what a laboratory like this is doing in the middle of the jungle. It's simple, really. We're developing as well as testing various cosmetics <coughs> from Bion eyes. You see, our previous lab was firebombed by animal rights activists. But right now, we're dealing with a more immediate problem. The source of this bizarre infection. I I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Robert West. I've been examining the blood of several natives suffering from this infection, and it appears to be a virus of some kind. But it mutates so quickly, it's impossible to classify. If you don't mind, I'll take a sample from each of you. In that case, uh, please, line up. So he's taking a sample of our blood to see what we have that makes us immune. Thank you. I should have some answers in a few hours. In the meantime, perhaps you could help out a bit here? See, like I said, like those mini... The side quests, it's the same thing. The infected end tore the driver right out of the car. I sorry, but I didn't even try to help him. I just the way I'm on. I kept on running until I couldn't be crazy how he's in it. Somehow. Okay, so Oh, he doesn't give us an exact person, so we have to help just random people. Frank is trapped in the other part of the laboratory. You have to help him. Easy. Okay. Rescue Frank from an undead infested part of the laboratory. Okay. Doesn't sound so easy to me. Please hurry. Okay, buddy, I'll get there. Don't worry. Wish I could repair this. Machete of mine first. Actually, is this a machete? Yeah. This guy have any good sharp weapons? There's a machete right there. And a reaper. Nice, man.
Okay, well, I'll look into that later. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so up. Oh, he's just out here. Okay. Oh, they had to unlock it. Is that why it's easy? There's only one at a time? I'll be right back after I start this place. Okay, so let's kill some more zombies. Okay, so this thing's out. Now we're going with an impact mace. One zombie. I do not know how that electricity did not kill that zombie. Was that all of them? That was all of them. That was easy. And this is creepy. Whoa, an axe? Let's see, what should I switch that for? I've never had an axe before. One of my least powerful... Well, I'm getting... I'm not getting rid of that. Get rid of my hammer. Hopefully the axe is fast. I don't like heavy weapons. I've found that out from the wrench. Well, it seems that this is just a big testing area. And they're not really doing anything in here but cutting open zombies and looking at what's inside. So, let's go report back to the guy. Did I pass him? Yes, I did. You made it. Frank found a way to turn oleander sap into a poison that can shut down the central nervous systems of the infected, at least temporarily. That's a lot of money you just gave me. And I still have to do more to help out? Okay, I hope they're all this easy. I don't think they are, though. There's only two, so. I didn't want to worry West, but the emergency generator's almost out of gas. Unfortunately, I have to watch the entrance, but I'm sure you can handle it. <laughs> Hard, of course. Shock rifle mod. Okay. Get a new fuse from the warehouse. Use the new fuse to restore the power. I'll see what I can do. The main fuse of the generator needs to be replaced. You'll find a new fuse in the warehouse right behind the laboratory. Generator is located just a little bit farther. Don't worry. I'll stay in touch through the camera surveillance system. So, you're leaving all these zombies up to me. Of course you are. Okay, so there's no sense taking a vehicle. Because it's not far enough for a vehicle to really be of use. That was nice. Anyway. So. It's back here.
behind the laboratory. Oh no. Dang it. I'm just glad the floater doesn't spit on me when I'm lying there. And now he does. Come on, stamina. Okay, guys, when I get to the storage shed or whatever it's called, I'll be back. There's no point, you know, seeing all this. Okay, so I'm at the warehouse, guys. I just have to go break down the door, and there's some zombies inside. I hear them. So, let's get ready. Oh, it's a ram guy. Whoa. And he killed me. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. And so, the one guy that was in here, I thought there was a ton, is dead. And apparently, he killed a floater while he was in here. Even though they're both zombies. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And I guess I want to go in there. To get, I forget, the fuse, I think. And there's no zombies in here. Luckily. This is a really small area. But there's a bodily harm mod. And the fuses. And there will be more zombies. Than, okay. That zombie's alive. Okay, so... Okay, there's one more. Okay, there's two more. But I killed them both, so... And I got a recording. You enjoy that recording while I fight some zombies on the way down to the generator. Okay, so that was a creepy recording of apparently an infected orangutan. But I am almost at the generator. In fact, it's just ahead. With another zombie. At least one. Okay, it's right in here. I see no zombies. That is weird. Okay. There's the fuse. Okay, what else do I have to do? Oh, turn on the generators. Okay, I can hear the infected, 
but luckily I just got a new machete. Freak. Okay, so, just to be safe, I'm going to quickly use this table to repair my weapons. Okay. Now, the only reason I'm going to show this is because I think it's going to be quite a brutal fight, and I think I'm actually pretty prepared for it. So... Now we... Okay, there's no zombies on the stairs. That was that was worth some very nice kills from me. I like this new machete. Okay, well anyway, we've got about 90 meters to the laboratory. Plenty of undead, I'm sure, to come. There's the storage shed. I'm doing great right now. Okay. Here's the moment of truth, whether I figure out if I'm actually doing that good or not. And I am not. I will see you guys back up at the laboratory. Okay guys, so I'm heading back into the laboratory. Took out a bunch of zombies. Died, I think, one additional time. Was not fun. But I did pretty good against those zombies. And now I completed Will's task. Seriously, you may have just saved us all. Hey, if you need shells for the shotgun, please help yourselves. Talk to Dr. West. I think he might have discovered something. Okay, the shock rifle mod we got. We do not need shotgun shells, though. That's kind of sucks. Because I was going to get a shotgun. Well, I did get a shotgun. A while ago. But you can, like, not even use the shotgun on this game. It's like... It doesn't work. You'd think when you got close with a shotgun and... Shot a zombie, it would do more damage. But it doesn't. It does even less, if anything. Devastating home run mod. Another bat one. Obviously. And let's see all these... We got a bunch of mods... But I cannot do any of them. Let's look. We got... Magic Wand a long time ago. Bodily Harm mod. Um, a homemade electric club. But I'm not going to have a ton for anymore. The Shock Rifle. All I need is, I think, one more metal scrap out of the two. And it's... An electric rifle, there's not really much else to describe it as. Devastating home run. Baseball bat with a hint of blades and barbed wire. Uh, that's it. So, okay. That's it. That's what we got. I repaired. And now I'm going to go talk to the scientist guy. Who's trying to figure everything out with our blood. I'm just trying to see if I can find another metal scrap. Alright. Right in here. Here we go. It's a bit of a mystery. You all have the same blood type, O negative. But that might just be a coincidence. 
For some reason, the virus doesn't react to your T-cells the way it does to others. It doesn't mutate. It doesn't duplicate. It just dies. The only possible way to make someone else immune would be a complete blood transfusion. Not a practical solution, as it would likely result in death. Good. Now, this is what I do know. It appears to be a strange mutation of a degenerative neurological disease endemic to this region. Kulu. It's a prion disease, like mad cow, only it affects humans. And was first discovered among the indigenous tribes that practiced cannibalism. The infected natives were brought in by their kinfolk. But the kinfolk weren't sick. Question is, why? What's the connection between you and them? Does their blood possess antibodies yours doesn't? The answer could save thousands of lives. I heard they left their village and set up camp somewhere nearby. I'm sure they're not far. I need you to find them and convince them to allow you to take some blood samples. Can you do this? Our difficulty. Oh dear. I'll do my best. I want to take blood samples, but they won't allow it. For you see, blood is sacred to them. I, I tried to explain, but I'm afraid I offended them. Okay, so I believe we just completed... Yes, we just completed chapter 12. We are on chapter 13, Blood Trials. Now, for Blood Trials, it's pretty obvious what we're going to do. We're going to go to the tribe and try to take blood samples to make other people immune. But it's probably not going to be that easy. And I'm going to take a vehicle there. But we're going to do all this next episode. So, thank you for watching. This is episode 22. If you liked the video, please like, comment, or subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.